Nick has always been one of my favorite photo effects softwares, and you may have seen my rave about, well, to me, the most powerful black and white editing software on the market for the past decade, the Silver Effects Pro, that's part of Nick Editing Suite. Today, I'm happy to give you a preview on the latest release of Nick software, version 5. I don't intend to make this video too long because there are only two major but important updates to two of the components within the suite, Analog Effects Pro and Color Effects Pro. The rest of the components, including my favorite, Silver Effects Pro, only received minor updates to further refine and to make the entire user experience more fluid and consistent. So today's preview will be focusing on the new changes on Analog Effects Pro and Color Effects Pro. And I will demonstrate on how to use them uh, very briefly to make your normal edits stand out and more professional with only a few clicks. Remember, I'm using a pre-release version of Nick 5 and some final changes can still happen by the time you see this video. Okay, without further ado, let's see what's new. As the name suggests, Analog Effects Pro contains literally everything you need to make your images look, well, analog. <laughs> and I personally really love the look and feel of the old school film photography. And even with the most advanced film simulation presets, you just can't get it 100%. Well, but having said that, DxO has spent a lot of time researching and implementing many true to original analog characteristics in this software, making sure that you can emulate as close to what you envision for your kind of old school film photography. For portrait, Analog Effects Pro has always been a powerful tool, but the latest update has made it even better. And in fact, much better. And the user interface has completely rebuilt and it is now consistent with the recently updated Silver FX Pro and others. And a more powerful Upon local adjustment tool has been brought in too. And each control point can now be renamed and critically, there is now two new sliders to control luminance and chrominance values within the local adjustment points, giving you even more control over the final outcome. As before, there are tons of effects you can choose to make your photos as quirky or vintage as you wish. But I always prefer the more subtle approach. And I personally love to play around with the film type where I can choose a specific tones that can be applied to the image and further adjust it with the U point if I wish. And frankly, Analog Effects Pro has to be my second favorite after Silver Effects Pro. Now, let's have a look at Color Effects Pro and other software that allows you to play around with colors of your image. And this app is perhaps more aiming at the slightly uh, less advanced users. And there are tons of filters that you can apply to your chosen image, but you can tweak them locally with new points if you wish just like Analog and Silver FX Pro. So this is more than just filters that you see on Instagram or more consumer level softwares that applies globally to the entire image. But like Analog FX Pro, the interface has been completely revamped and DxO has infused their own Clearview technology to the software, making it much easier to retrieve details within the image. And Clearview is a proprietary software that is very useful, particularly for landscape and cityscape photography where details is paramount. But for the certain type of portrait, you can impose power to your subject and add grit to the style. Both Analog and Color Effects Pro have also gained a new film grain section where you can apply authentic looking film grains for many popular film stocks in the past. Well, and present too, if they're, if they're still available. And this is something I also love adding to my photos, in particular black and white just to give a touch more texture to the rather blend digital projection. The results from either can be rather interesting if you master them. As mentioned, I use Silver FX Pro exclusively for all my black and white conversions because it gives me the best or close to original monofilm stock that I used to shoot with in the past. And Analog FX Pro is my second most used color grading tool for all my photos when I need to add a bit more than my standard edits within Lightroom. And I personally don't use Color Effects Pro that often, but it is there if you are just starting out. And other minor updates include new camera and lens profile support in Perspective Effects Pro, which is handy if you want uh, just a one-off profile correction for your image. So 
So this is a quick look at Nick's new update, which include revamped and enhanced analog and color effects pro. During the launch period, if you buy Nick version 5, you will get a free license of DxO's popular PhotoLab 5, Essential Edition. Don't quote me though, I think if you are interested in getting the Elite version, you may be able to get an upgrade discount. But I will put a link in the description so you can check out DxO's website for all the latest information. Overall, I think the latest update is interesting, definitely from a user standpoint. However, if you already use Nick 4 and primarily use um, Silver Effects Pro for your black and white, then there's not much difference in the latest release, as Nick 5 is focused on color, the analog and color effects pro. So if you use the latter and want to take advantage of the new camera and lens support on profile corrections in Perspective Effects Pro, then Nick 5 is definitely worth the upgrade and you get the PhotoLab 5 Essential thrown in. I love Nick and I have been using them since they were part of Google. But I can see a trend developing since DxO takes over a few years ago. That DxO is cross-missing technologies between Nick and their own PhotoLab softwares. And there are also some overlaps in terms of features and functions. So it wouldn't surprise me that one day Nick will be completely integrated in PhotoLab. But I'm only speculating and only time will tell. <laughs> Anyhow, let me know your thoughts on Nick 5 and do you use any of the softwares within the suite like Silver Effects Pro or Color and Analog Effects Pro? What's your experience on them? And let's have a chat in the comment section below. And you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, Michael Four Thirds. Peace.